Beta-lactam antibiotics, beta antibiotics are a class of antibiotic consisting of all antibiotic agents that contain a beta-lactam ring in their molecular structures. This includes penicillin derivatives penems, cephalosporins cephems, monobactams, and carbapenems. Most beta-lactam antibiotics work by inhibiting cell wall biosynthesis in the bacterial organism and are the most widely used group of antibiotics. Until 2003, when measured by sales, more than half of all commercially available antibiotics in use were beta lactam compounds. Bacteria often develop resistance to beta lactam antibiotics by synthesizing a beta lactamase, an enzyme that attacks the beta lactam ring. To overcome this resistance, beta lactam antibiotics are often given with beta lactamase inhibitors such as clavulinic acid. Medical use Beta-lactam antibiotics are indicated for the prevention and treatment of bacterial infections caused by susceptible organisms. At first, beta-lactam antibiotics were mainly active only against gram-positive bacteria, yet the recent development of broad-spectrum beta-lactam antibiotics active against various gram-negative organisms has increased their usefulness. Topic. Adverse effects Topic. Adverse drug reactions Common adverse drug reactions for the beta-lactam antibiotics include diarrhea, nausea, rash, urticaria, superinfection including candidiasis. Infrequent adverse effects include fever, vomiting, erythema, dermatitis, angioedema, pseudomembranous colitis. Pain and inflammation at the injection site is also common for parenterally administered beta-lactam antibiotics. Topic Allergy, hypersensitivity Immunologically mediated adverse reactions to any beta-lactam antibiotic may occur in up to 10% of patients receiving that agent a small fraction of which are truly IgE-mediated allergic reactions, see amoxicillin rash. Anaphylaxis will occur in approximately 0.01% of patients. There is perhaps a 5% to 10% cross sensitivity between penicillin derivatives, cephalosporins, and carbapenems, but this figure has been challenged by various investigators. Nevertheless, the risk of cross reactivity is sufficient to warrant the contraindication of all beta lactam antibiotics in patients with a history of severe allergic reactions, urticaria, anaphylaxis, interstitial nephritis, to any beta lactam antibiotic. A jarish herxheimer reaction may occur after initial treatment of a spirochetal infection such as syphilis with a beta-lactam antibiotic. <laughs> Mode of action Beta-lactam antibiotics are bacteriocidal, and act by inhibiting the synthesis of the peptidoglycan layer of bacterial cell walls. The peptidoglycan layer is important for cell wall structural integrity, especially in gram-positive organisms, being the outermost and primary component of the wall. The final transpeptidation step in the synthesis of the peptidoglycan is facilitated by DD transpeptidases which are penicillin-binding proteins PBPs. PBPs vary in their affinity for binding penicillin or other beta-lactam antibiotics. The amount of PBPs varies among bacterial species. Beta-lactam antibiotics are analogues of D-alanyl D-alanine, the terminal amino acid residues on the precursor NAM, NAG peptide subunits of the nascent peptidoglycan layer. The structural similarity between beta-lactam antibiotics and D-alanyl D-alanine facilitates their binding to the active site of PBPs. The beta-lactam nucleus of the molecule irreversibly binds to acylates the SIR-403 residue of the PBP active site. 
This irreversible inhibition of the PPPs prevents the final crosslinking transpeptidation of the nascent peptidoglycan layer, disrupting cell wall synthesis. Beta lactam antibiotics block not only the division of bacteria, including cyanobacteria, but also the division of cyanals, the photosynthetic organelles of the glaucophytes, and the division of chloroplasts of bryophytes. In contrast, they have no effect on the plastids of the highly developed vascular plants. This is supporting the endosymbiotic theory and indicates an evolution of plastid division in land plants. Under normal circumstances, peptidoglycan precursors signal a reorganization of the bacterial cell wall and, as a consequence, trigger the activation of autolytic cell wall hydrolases. Inhibition of cross linkage by beta lactams causes a buildup of peptidoglycan precursors, which triggers the digestion of existing peptidoglycan by autolytic hydrolases without the production of new peptidoglycan. As a result, the bactericidal action of beta lactam antibiotics is further enhanced. <laughs> Potency Two structural features of beta-lactam antibiotics have been correlated with their antibiotic potency. The first is known as Woodward's parameter, H, and is the height in angstroms of the pyramid formed by the nitrogen atom of the beta-lactam as the apex and the three adjacent carbon atoms as the base. The second is called Cohen's parameter. C, and is the distance between the carbon atom of the carboxylate and the oxygen atom of the beta-lactam carbonyl. This distance is thought to correspond to the distance between the carboxylate binding site and the oxyanion hole of the PBP enzyme. The best antibiotics are those with higher H values more reactive to hydrolysis and lower C values better binding to PBPs. Topic. Modes of resistance By definition, all beta-lactam antibiotics have a beta-lactam ring in their structure. The effectiveness of these antibiotics relies on their ability to reach the PBP intact and their ability to bind to the PBP. Hence, there are two main modes of bacterial resistance to beta-lactams. Enzymatic hydrolysis of the beta-lactam ring If the bacterium produces the enzyme beta-lactamase or the enzyme penicillinase, the enzyme will hydrolyze the beta-lactam ring of the antibiotic, rendering the antibiotic ineffective. An example of such an enzyme is New Delhi metallo beta lactamase 1, discovered in 2009. The genes encoding these enzymes may be inherently present on the bacterial chromosome or may be acquired via plasmid transfer, plasmid mediated resistance, and beta lactamase gene expression may be induced by exposure to beta lactams. The production of a beta lactamase by a bacterium does not necessarily rule out all treatment options with beta lactam antibiotics. In some instances, beta lactam antibiotics may be co administered with a beta lactamase inhibitor. For example, Augmentin FGP is made of amoxicillin a beta -lactam antibiotic and clavulinic acid a beta lactamase inhibitor. The clavulinic acid is designed to overwhelm all beta-lactamase enzymes, and effectively serve as an antagonist so that the amoxicillin is not affected by the beta-lactamase enzymes. Other beta-lactamase inhibitors such as boronic acids are being studied in which they irreversibly bind to the active site of beta-lactamases. This is a benefit over clavulinic acid and similar beta-lactam competitors, because they cannot be hydrolyzed, and therefore rendered useless. Extensive research is currently being done to develop tailored boronic acids to target different isozymes of beta-lactamases, however, in all cases where infection with beta-lactamase-producing bacteria is suspected, the choice of a suitable beta-lactam antibiotic should be carefully considered prior to treatment. In particular, choosing appropriate beta-lactam antibiotic therapy is of utmost importance against organisms which harbor some level of beta-lactamase expression. 
In this case, failure to use the most appropriate beta-lactam antibiotic therapy at the onset of treatment could result in selection for bacteria with higher levels of beta-lactamase expression, thereby making further efforts with other beta-lactam antibiotics more difficult. Topic: <laughs> Possession of altered penicillin binding proteins. As a response to the use of beta-lactams to control bacterial infections, some bacteria have evolved penicillin-binding proteins with novel structures. Beta-lactam antibiotics cannot bind as effectively to these altered BBPs, and, as a result, the beta-lactams are less effective at disrupting cell wall synthesis. Notable examples of this mode of resistance include methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus and penicillin-resistant Streptococcus pneumoniae. Altered PBPs do not necessarily rule out all treatment options with beta-lactam antibiotics. <laughs> Nomenclature Beta-lactams are classified according to their core ring structures. Beta-lactams fused to saturated five-membered rings. Beta-lactams containing thiazolidine rings are named penems. Beta-lactams containing pyrolidine rings are named carbapenems. Beta-lactams fused to oxazolidine rings are named oxapenems or clavems. Beta-lactams fused to unsaturated five-membered rings. Beta-lactams containing 2,3-dihydrothiazole rings are named penems. Beta-lactams containing 2,3-dihydro-1H pyrrole rings are named carbapenems. Beta-lactams fused to unsaturated 6-membered rings. Beta-lactams containing 3,6-dihydro-2H1,3-thiazine rings are named cephems. Beta-lactams containing 1,2,3,4-tetrahydropyridine rings are named carbacephems. Beta-lactams containing 3,6-dihydro-2H1,3-oxazine rings are named oxacephems. Beta-lactams not fused to any other ring are named monobactams. By convention, the bicyclic beta-lactams are numbered starting with the position occupied by sulfur in the penems and cephems, regardless of which atom it is in a given class. That is, position 1 is always adjacent to the beta-carbon of beta-lactam ring. The numbering continues clockwise from position 1 until the beta carbon of beta lactam is reached, at which point numbering continues counterclockwise around the lactam ring to number the remaining two carbons. For example, the nitrogen atom of all bicyclic beta lactams fused to five membered rings is labeled position 4, as it is in penems, while in cephems, the nitrogen is position 5. The numbering of monobactams follows that of the IUPAC, the nitrogen atom is position 1, the carbonyl carbon is 2, the alpha carbon is 3, and the beta carbon 4. <inaudible> Biosynthesis To date, two distinct methods of biosynthesizing the beta-lactam core of this family of antibiotics have been discovered. The first pathway discovered was that of the penems and cephems. This path begins with a nonribosomal peptide synthetase NRPS, ACV synthetase ACVS, which generates the linear tripeptide delta l alpha aminodipole l cysteine d valine ACV. ACV is oxidatively cyclized two cyclizations by a single enzyme to bicyclic intermediate isopenicillin N by isopenicillin N synthase IPNS to form the penem core structure. Various transamidations lead to the different natural penicillins. The biosynthesis of cephems branch off at isopenicillin N by an oxidative ring expansion to the cephem core. As with the penems, the variety of cephalosporins and cephamycins come from different transamidations, as is the case for the penicillins. While the ring closure in penems and cephems is between positions 1 and 4 of the beta-lactam and is oxidative, the clavums and carbapenems have their rings closed by two electron processes between positions 1 and 2 of the ring. Beta-lactam synthetases are responsible for these cyclizations, and the carboxylate of the open ring substrates is activated by ATP. 
In clavums, the beta-lactam is formed prior to the second ring. In carbapenems, the beta-lactam ring is closed second in sequence. The biosynthesis of the beta-lactam ring of tabtoxin mirrors that of the clavums and carbapenems. The closure of the lactam ring in the other monobactams, such as sulfazesin and the nocardesins, may involve a third mechanism involving inversion of configuration at the beta carbon. See also List of beta-lactam antibiotics ATC code J01C beta-lactam antibacterials, penicillins ATC code J01D other beta-lactam antibacterials Bacteria Cell wall Discovery and development of cephalosporins History of penicillin Nitrosfin